Jackson from Aiken making a barrel. Who's your partner there? Bob Haas. Bob Haas. And he's cutting, uh, what do you call those pieces? Staves. Staves. And Alan's putting them together. Is there a name for that machine there? No, <laughs> just a barrel making machine? <laughs> What's your name? Shane Skelton is my name. And where are you from? I'm from Ireland originally, but I've lived in Minnesota for 14 years. Oh, okay. Where do you live now? Burnsville. Okay. Yeah. And you're running this thing, mm -hmm. and what is it? It it's says... A traction engine. A Russell what? Traction engine. Traction engine, and what would it have been used for? Primarily for plowing uh, or threshing. Mm -hmm. or basically anywhere on a farm that you might need some power. Okay. So there's a whole host of machinery that it can drive. We uh -huh. connect the belt to the flywheel that you see spinning around over there. Yeah. And uh, you can put it to a trashing mill, just about any other yeah. machinery that you need to drive. Yeah. Okay. And what's it run on? Well, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's essentially a heat engine, and uh, you burn whatever fuel you have uh, available. In this case, we're using a combination of wood and coal. And uh, this black object comes here that runs all the way back to the boiler, and it uh, turns water into steam. And then the steam goes up into uh, the valve chest, which is on the far side of your cylinder here. And uh, it's admitted to this side of the cylinder, pushes the piston back, and then admitted to this side, which pushes it back that way. And through the crankshaft, you get uh, rotational movements, and uh, that's essentially how it runs. Okay. Wow. Did you learn about this in Ireland or after you came here to the U.S.? No. Um, my father, he grew up with steam, and uh -huh. uh, when I was a rug rat, uh, I had steam exposure, and, and um, I've just always been around them for yeah. day one. Oh, really? Oh, cool. All right. So that's Russell and Company from Ohio. That is correct. Oh, and the Langenbachs own that. They're that from correct. here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the vast majority of these engines are owned by the Langenbachs. Uh huh. Um, except for this one, the one at the end. Yeah. One or two others. Okay. Yeah. It's a very extensive collection. They've managed to rescue a lot of stuff that probably would have been scrapped otherwise. And, yeah. You know, they they split display it here for all and sundry to see. All right. Great. Thanks. Five W. It runs 20 horsepower on the draw power and 30 at the belt. And it's owned by John Lang and Bach from Marini. And we've got Zach Simpson operating from Lindstrom, Minnesota.
Cruiser is built in 1918. It's a cross-border model. Drive horsepower is 15 and the driver is 27. 